What is AI? AI or artificial intelligence. AI, or artificial intelligence, is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. So what exactly does this mean? It's essentially using software to mimic human expression. It's creating hundreds of images of people who don't exist. It's finishing a movie without the actor even needing to be there, or turning back time and having someone look years younger. It's using code to emulate your favorite artist's music without them even needing to step foot in the studio. That's pretty insane. And while most AI content tends to be rather hit or miss, it's kind of undeniable that this stuff is developing in a way that we have no idea just where it could go, and it's already advancing so far. So what exactly does AI have in store for us? Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, and this is where I talk about things that interest me. Today, we're gonna be talking about AI. If you like what I've got here, please consider subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. Like, comment, dislike, even if you have something you want to say if you disagree with me i would love to hear your opinion i think all opinions deserve to be heard up to a point obviously <laughs> i stream on twitch and i have a community discord if you guys like to be in touch as well as a variety of social media such as instagram twitter tiktok so if you guys want to follow up on me and see what i'm up to on the day to day i have that as well thank you guys so much for being here and let's see what we've got in store for us today now, as amazing as AI seems, there will always be drawbacks with every technological advancement we make. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. That's something we've heard countless times as we've grown up in a digital age. Yet, it's almost arguable that nowadays people are slowly starting to fall back into that seeing is believing mentality. And things have been getting harder and harder to differentiate from real and fake. Now, in most cases, this is probably seen in hastily photoshopped images with insane captions and fake news articles that perpetuate around Twitter and Facebook for your parents to pretty much divulge in, even though they were the ones who usually told us, don't believe everything you see on the internet, which I always found kind of funny. However, if we take a look around our current environment, I think it would be very clear to see that this information, or misinformation I should say, is slowly getting darker and more realistic and starting to incite actual problems and chaos. In an article by Ryan Hogg and Evan Ratliff from In Insider. They explain basically how people and companies are going around and generating fake employees to make their companies look more reputable. That is insane. If they're gonna lie about this, what else are they gonna be willing to lie about? Is the content that they're producing even worth buying if they're willing to lie to their consumers? Now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, a bunch of fake people work for a place. Who cares, right? Well, the problem here is this technology hasn't only been used to just perpetuate a cover of a better business that doesn't exist. It's been used in scams and it's been used to rig elections. Now that is the meaning of this. That is where we're like, okay, that's kind of dangerous. Maybe we should monitor this just a little bit more. They're using people who don't exist to essentially influence your opinion. And that is where this becomes dangerous. In a video by the YouTuber Moist Critical, he includes content from a journalist who doesn't exist from articles that have no one writing them. So now we have fake people helping rig elections and fake scam companies. And then on the other side, we have AI taking jobs away from people where human touch is most definitely needed. How am I supposed to trust a video game review? A review of anything from someone who doesn't exist and is just an algorithm typing words to make me click on a, a click on an article and think that it's worth reading. And this doesn't stop at journalism or articles or fake people. In the art community, it has been seen as very distasteful for AI art to kind of circulate around. The reasoning behind that is because AI art actually takes combinations of other artists' work that are out there and combine it for new imagery. And unfortunately for artists, it's almost like this combination of artworks is stealing their jobs. <laughs> and unfortunately, even the art styles of people who are no longer with us. It took three days after Korean artist Kim Jong-ji died for his art to be resurfaced through AI. 
For a lot of artists out there, this is nothing but a tool to steal an artist's style in order to avoid paying artist fees or taking advantage of someone's art style after they've died. And these concerns are very well validated. It's really hard to see an entire career and industry of people start being replaced by something that derives its art from them. And while it's heavily debated, yes, AI can be used as a tool to create art, but AI should never be the finished product. It should be a tool used to help guide you and help give a guideline for how the content should come out. But at the end of the day, a combination of different art styles from other people just does not qualify as art in the same right. And in saying that, I don't think AI art is the worst thing to ever happen to humanity. I think that AI has a very good place out there as a tool. For example, Japan Netflix just came out with a new short movie called Dog and Boy, and they actually used AI art to create backgrounds for their film. And the cool thing about that is it wasn't fully made by AI. Yes, AI kind of created the backdrop and it created the outline, but they had artists go in and start adjusting and fixing the art. And essentially, they created something original out of something that started off a culmination of just ideas and generic artwork. And I think that is where AI is strongest, creating a foundation, shortening up the time it takes to delve into the creative process. That's where this stuff thrives. I think it's beautiful that they were able to shorten the time to create a beautiful film um, just by using AI as a starting point, but having an artist come in and create something beautiful from it. Deceiving content is genuinely scary, and the fact that there's scams out there currently able to operate on such large scales simply because everything they need can be fake is something we really need to take into consideration. And not only that, we also have to think about how AI is taking Taking jobs away from so many people and not just that but technology in general if you notice your customer service is no longer filled with service people to help these customers your McDonald's are filled with tall stands of ordering menus and you don't even see a person you just drive through nowadays when's the last time someone took your order at a McDonald's and you didn't just go up to a screen and type in everything you wanted construction and factory jobs are still being lost to this day due to technology unfortunately when you really see the bigger picture Picture, you start to see that a lot of the people being cut out of work and cut out of availability here are gonna be your lower class, middle class people who work these, I guess, customer service, very hands-on, very human job. And as I said before, I genuinely believe AI should be nothing more than a tool to create and not the finished product. When AI technology becomes commonplace, who exactly is it going to replace? So one thing about AI that actually made me really want to write this video today was the general misuse of AI content. And when I say misuse of AI content, I generally mean the use to make not safe for work content without the consent of other people. People. From deepfakes of real people to AI generated content of putting them in compromising situations. I think this is one thing we need to really crack down on and start putting a voice out there. For example, deepfakes have recently just surfaced of Twitch streamers such as Pokimane or QT Cinderella. And both of these women were extremely disgusted about what they found. And of course, on a deeper note, the way they found that content was from a friend of theirs who was also a fellow Twitch streamer, which is honestly wrong on so many levels on my opinion and honestly it should be the opinion of everyone else because that's just so objectively wrong and disgusting and I think the desensitization of this kind of content in general has really kind of hurt the internet and the people who use it on a daily basis to not recognize this as an extreme violation of consent and safety and instead interpreting this as some kind of oh every day this is just the internet when it really doesn't have to be this doesn't have to be the internet we are totally in control of monitoring and protecting people and there is a lot of content that is being curated right now by their own creators of the AI bots and we can't say it can't be done simply because a lot of these people when creating their AI already did implement these safety regulations and precautions. Even on a federal level, there's already been some work put into regulating these AIs. For example, there's a federal agency out there called the National Institute for Standards and Technology, 
And currently, they are working on a framework for something called the AI Risk Management Framework, right? And this is pretty much a standard that they're building right now, currently working on it, for regulating these AIs out in the world. And while that framework may not be available just yet, we do have some hints on what it's going to entail. And on their website, it's pretty clear that right now, they're focusing on about five main things. So it says here that they're focused on being valid and reliable, safe, fair and non bias, explainable and interpretable, as well as transparent and accountable. So very clearly, they have the human populace kind of in mind already for AI content. And with clauses like AI will make sure not to hurt human intellectual properties or harm human life or mental well-being, I think it's clear that they've already kind of seen the things that people have been subject to with AI and are already starting to pick up like, okay, this is where we need to put our foot down and here's where we need to probably spend some more time figuring out like how do we stop this however that doesn't really change the fact that we are still just now understanding the capabilities of ai and really testing its limits and that's where i'm asking you the viewer to kind of think of these kinds of things when you're viewing this content and we should have a more vocal response when people do use it to hurt people like your favorite twitch streamers or people you love because unfortunately the bottom line here here is that I think we need to understand in general that yes we all know that this is the internet and it's hard to get things off of the internet and pretty much anything can make its way onto the internet but this doesn't stop at women and this doesn't stop at adults and that is where the power of AI truly becomes something scary that the evil this could potentially be used for is downright horrifying we need to make sure that we're not becoming desensitized to this content and understanding it for the horror that it truly is and how people are really getting hurt. We can't have these kinds of mentalities um, here on public spaces that this is an okay thing to do and that, that it doesn't matter because these women are famous and that these are famous people so why, why should we care? And I think we should care all the more because at the end of the day they are people just like you and I. And yes, it is hard. It is hard to regulate this kind of stuff but once you have that outcry of people who say hey this is kind of wrong we should look more into this this shouldn't be commonplace we get actual change happening for example the person who created the deep fake content on that website actually issued an apology and the entire website got taken down and that is a step in the right direction this can absolutely be done we can make sure AI is safe and a great tool for everyone to use. We just have to show them that we care and that we want it to be safe and we want it to be used for good. AI has the potential to become an amazing tool for creativity and exploration. It also has the potential to be a tool for terrible sinister motives and destruction. It can be used to help creatives and help simplify intensive work environments. It could also replace those same workers and leave a lot of people unemployed. At the end of the day, it really is up to those AI developers and the people who create rules for them to kind of do the last say so. But while we are here and able to have a voice and able to educate ourselves on the content, I think it's really important that if we see something wrong or we see something that AI could potentially have really bad implications into, it's good to speak on those things. And I hope that you guys are able to learn something today too. So all we can do is kind of advocate for a safer world out there, right? <laughs> Consider this video like a nudge in the right direction. Like, hey guys, we, we should put a lot more thought into this. You know, at the end of the day, I just wanna make sure that the what ifs of today don't become the problems of tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the first one I've ever made of this kind. So um, a little rocky, hopefully we get the format down a little bit better. <laughs> Sooner or later, oh, we'll get it, we'll get it eventually. Please leave a comment, uh, a like, a dislike even. Uh, I love opening room for a discussion. No opinion is a right opinion. If you guys have something you wanna say, go ahead and tell me. I love reading comments and seeing what are your thoughts on this topic. This is just me sharing something I'm interested in and that I like, so. I hope that you guys would want to share that kind of information that you have as well. Again, if you want to see more of what I could potentially have in store for this year, uh, go ahead and surprise. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. It was so fun. My socials are linked in the description if you guys want to come up with me there. We have an active Discord. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. Um, I hope to hear from you. Bye. Thank you so much. Have a great night. And I genuinely mean that. Have a great night. Bye.